We're coming to you live from the uh, Tessi Tree Blau uh, Taxi Rank. This is Community Connected. This episode is sponsored by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the European Union. Let me turn my attention now to Mr. Fori Debra. Good morning, sir. Welcome. Good Thank to have you. How far? Yeah. Mr. Debra, so I'm looking at the guidelines that uh, you yourself have set up for yourself. And uh, interesting things I find in the, in the guidelines. For example, it says the major aim of the guideline, as you have it, is to minimize poverty among all persons with disability, particularly those outside the formal sector of employment, and the enhancement of this social image through dignified labor. Correct? Yes. How have we done this? Have we been able to achieve this? Yes, I can say that uh, to a, a very large extent, we have been able to um, improve the lives of persons with disability, especially those within the category def defined. Um, as we are talking would now... You want, would you want to put a percentage to it? Well, I, um, I will not be able to give a statistical uh, data. Why not? Uh, because we so far... We have not been able to undertake evaluation of those who have uh, actually benefited from this facility, but I must also indicate that um, numbers of them have benefited. As we are talking now, mm. many of our uh, brothers and sisters in the tertiary institutions, for example, mm. most of them are getting support okay. from this um, facility. Right. And uh, also, I must also say that some of them um, who did not have anything to do because of uh, the fact that they did not have capital to start any form of business, okay. those people have been given support. Mm -hmm. And some of them are actually doing well. If I come to you and I say I need a, a sewing machine, electric sewing machine, yes. and uh, I put a value to it, say 1,200, mm -hmm. on the market it could range between 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, mm -hmm. and I peg mine at 1,200 and I come to you, would you still downgrade it? How does the downgrading come in? No, it's not downgraded here. You need a sewing machine, in, an in, electric in your, sewing... In your municipality, it's not downgraded? Yes. In, in our case... We present the report to the assembly, okay. and then it passes through procurement, and then we we'll, we'll, we we'll get it and give it to you. Mr. So Farid, I'm looking at uh, number three, article three of your uh, your guidelines that for the disbursement of the fund. It says B communication on DACF. It says the office of the administrator of DACF shall in each quarter furnish the NCPD, which is your uh, your organization with allocations made to MMDAs and their corresponding percentage for persons with disability. Have you received any report from uh, Mr. Bauti as we speak? He's the fund manager. At least in the last quarter, did you get a report from him? No, in fact, the reports have not been forthcoming why, from the why, district. Why not? We put pressure on them, especially the uh, secretaries to the fund manager, who are, who are usually the social welfare officers, we are expecting them to prepare a report okay. to the council, but only few districts actually obliged to this kind of uh, uh, demand from them. I must say that uh, much has not been achieved in this direction because we actually depend uh, upon uh, reports that we are able to undertake um, through in some of the districts. Mm -hmm. The report is not ready for it because at our last sitting, the assembly requested the secretary to make it available to us, but it has not come yet. So I'm looking at the fund management committee. That's four of your own guidelines. It says, each MMDA shall form a special committee, disability fund management committee, for the purpose of managing the DACF for persons with disability. Composition one, district representative NCPD, chairperson social services subcommittee, District Director, Department of Social Welfare, District GFD representative, co-opted technical members, and the committee uh, as they deem fit. This is the committee. They are all part. And the report cannot come. I'm not happy. Are you happy? No. We are to be the recipient, but we have much problem with the assemblies because they are not keeping to this uh, provision in the guidelines. How are you making sure that they keep to the provision? 
we have been we have been com communicating or writing to the assemblies have you demanding been punishing? this. Have you been punished? No, there is. There, I don't think the council has the power to actually sanction the assemblies. But I must also indicate that the fact that we are not receiving reports from them does not mean that the money is not unaccounted for because it is assemblies money and it's subject to uh, auditors' reports. So auditors have been working on it. But your guidelines, which makes you board chairman, says disperse the money and give me a report. The reports have not come for two, three quarters. And you are not complaining. We have been complaining. It's not like complaining, we don't... Yes, if, but we have been writing to the assemblies. Because it is the assemblies that should provide us with the reports. Because they do the disbursements. So we have been reminding them of this responsibility to always feed the council with because, you see, the responsibility. I'm asking, this, I'm, I'm, I'm asking these questions because there have been instances where people have asked for, uh, if you will, uh, an upward upgrade, uh, uh, you know, um, upgrade of the 3% to make it 5% because they say the 3% is woefully inadequate. How do we arrive at that upgrade if we don't have the reports forthcoming? Somebody would think that somebody, something is being mismanaged. I, I'm not there with you. You are the man in the chair. Is, it, is that not a fair assessment? It's not a fair comment. No, I don't think so. But what we are saying is that we are always on ground. We do monitoring from time to time. Mm. And we also receive reports from our individual beneficiaries. Okay. The uh, only uh, shortcoming is the fact that we don't have... Uh, material reports okay. from the assemblies. But okay. when it comes to being on ground and hearing what is going on okay. or observing what is going on, mm. that is not lacking. Let, let's go to uh, Mr. Maxwell Kwabna Jima. He is the Municipal Coordinating Director for LECMA. Uh, Chief, good morning. Happy New Year to you. Please pass your microphone to him. Good morning. Happy New Year to you. Mr. Jima, where are the reports? Yes, I think with regard to the reports, I have the secretary to the committee who can speak to that better. Okay. So if I'm permitted to go yes, to Yes, yes, why not? Thank the you. secretary to the committee, uh, please tell us your name and... Uh, Hello, good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. What's your name, boss? My name is Enoch Afotodai. Okay. Ni tete. Drama one year. Happy, happy New Year. Many happy returns. Sir. Where are the reports? Um, as, as a matter of fact, the, the funds, we are supposed to receive the funds quarterly. Okay. And it's best the funds on quarterly basis. Absolutely. But the funds do not come as they were supposed to come quarterly. Okay. So anytime we have a disbursement or anytime we, we do an assessment mm. and having a disbursement, we invite officials from the uh, NCPD. Mm. We invite officials from the NCPD. So the last one we had in December an official from the NC NCPD came, okay. and we gave him a copy of the assessment report, okay. uh, both soft and hard, mm. Mm. together with the list of the beneficiaries. And this was report for, for which period? For the December uh, disbursement we did. Okay, but it's done, in, so that was for the last quarter yes. of 2018. So that, that any time we have an assessment, we invite them. So when they came, I think, we did. We had one in um, July, okay. last year July. Mm. When they came, we gave a copy of the report. So of how the come assessment. the fund manager has not seen the report, and you, the secretary, have the report, and he's been giving to NCPD, and the fund manager doesn't know. He is the man at, at the helm of affairs. How come he, he doesn't have the report? You have the report. NCPD has the report. Mr. Debra said he doesn't have your report, and you say there's a report. I'm curious to know. I, I didn't know he wasn't aware of the reporter because... The, oh, but he's the fund manager. Um, at the grounds of the disbursement, okay. he, he sat with the, with the NCPD official. So they called me to so I brought a copy. And so the man even gave but, me a but pen what, drive. what is the line of reporting? He is the fund manager. So if a report is prepared, he should be in copy, correct? Correct. Uh, if a report is prepared of a fund that he manages, Mr. Botti manages, he should be in copy. Alumi Mali. If you prepare a report and he is the fund manager and he concerns disbursements that he has vetted and made, 
of beneficiaries that are in, in queue. He should be a copy of this report, correct? I, I think we, we do give him copies of But he doesn't the have the last report you gave out to the NCPD. And I'm saying, that's wrong. Do you agree with me? I agree with you. So why was he not in copy? What we, I, I usually always give him copies of the assessment report. But what happened in the last instance? Why didn't he tell me? Tell me as your brother. What happened? Why didn't he have it? I, 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 I should say there, there was a lapse. There was a lapse. There On your a, side? Lapse. Yes. Okay, thank you. So what promise can you make to us moving forward? What's your promise to us moving forward okay, in terms forward, of the reporting I think the, structure? The, 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 the right channel must be followed in the reporting uh, line. I'm grateful. You may get about three, four, or five co-opted members on the committee, which this will be, they may not serve the needs of the people in the disability fraternity. Okay, so, but it, it doesn't say one co-opted member. What I yes. see is there's co-opted members yes, that, is, that the committee deems fit. It is as and when mm. their presence may be needed on a particular topic that they are going to right. discuss on the common Technical family. knowledge, yes. right. I have, not, it, I have never come to our notice because what I know is that uh, it makes provision for co-option. And for co-option, if we are talking about technical people who are to advise on technical issues. Will you, will uh, you investigate this? Well, as soon as we get official report to that effect, okay. I will. For more who for disabled foundation, we are not happy about the way the LECMA Disability Fund is being running here. Why? Why are you not happy? We are a group of disabled. Who knows what we are doing? Okay. And therefore, when we write to the assembly to find, write to our members what they need to do, because our main aim as an organization is to try to alleviate the street begging from our community. Mm. Therefore, more hope for disabled foundation is there to ensure that every disabled is have something to do. So why you know as a group of the disabled, we can write on our letterhead mm. that we need about five people to be assessed and giving them what they need to to stand on their own. Okay, but they said no, it doesn't you work like that. As individuals, individuals. And when you wrote, what happened? When we wrote, they give only few and left the, the others behind. Usually, if you are a group, we expect that if you have a program to, let's say, uh, educate or sensitize persons with disability or give them some form of training, you can then apply for. But in the case uh, of my good friend who said uh, that his organization applies uh, for the money in bulk, mm. I think that I would advise that they should, the organization should rather f uh, support the members to apply uh, in, in their individual names okay. so that at least their identities can be established. Right. The Teshi Link Road. Uh, the dusty nature, how it affects healthcare, how it affects persons with disability. We'll go back to persons with disability. What is the status of that project? The contract has been re-awarded and the contractor is a site now. So we're hoping that any month from now, work will be started and for that matter, that problem will be addressed. This answer for me is not satisfactory, Chief. With all apologies, because I've been following that project for over 10 years. Then, subsequently, we had a contractor move on. They started, the contractor went away. We went to chase the contractor. We were told that it was owed some 7 point something or 14 million, something like that. Then the contractor came back on site. He started a few things, and he's vanished again. Where is he? The contractor has been awarded the project, and he's a site. But he's not there so now. So, as, as to whether... But, but he's not there now. You know that he's not there No, now. he's there. No. Just that the work has not started. Oh, but if he's we on, have, if, as an assembly, if, if we he's have, on site and, and there's no, no one thing, one thing you need to know that as an assembly, we need to provide him site to accommodate his equipment, of which we've done. So if I tell you the contractor is a site, then I'm talking something current. Yes, because the uh, architectural infrastructure 
and integrity of the road is weakening. That's more cost to the taxpayer. Because I know that this contract was re-awarded to him last year. And I've been in talks with the, with the MP because I've been on his neck. And this man is not there putting asphalt on the street, watering. There is a problem. Do you agree there is a problem? Yes, I agree with you perfectly. But the point is, if it's last year, which month of last year? Which month of last year? I'm I think sure, it's somewhere in November. I'm sure that the pregnant woman who had miscarriage because they were driving on that higgly Hagley road to the Lekma Hospital would not want to hear what you're saying now. But what I'm trying to say is the contractor is, is a site and we have, as an assembly, given the place to accommodate his equipment. Does so, he have funds? Do you know if he has funds? If that I can tell. That oh, but he's coming. You have, 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 have kept his things. So on what condition did you keep his things? That, he's coming that is, to, that is that assembly's is coming, responsibility. That is coming to store his As things. to whether he has the funds or not, it's <laughs> neither here nor there. Our responsibility as assembly is to get the contractor a site it's, it's, to keep his equipment to start work. So the, the roads ministry is coming here, but then they are coming to do something and you are not aware, literally. Because you can't tell me if he has mobilized funds or if he doesn't. That, no, that, you, doesn't you look, no. that doesn't look good on you. When the award, uh, contract was awarded, I was not there. But it affects And I know before, before a contract is awarded to any contractor or a company, they assess all these things, funds, availability, his equipment base and whatnot. You understand? I agree. So once mm -hmm. the contract is given to the contractor, that means all these things are taken into consideration. Mr. Jima, it affects your work. Do you, do you agree? Yes, it affects my work. Are you disturbed about this situation? Very, very disturbed. How disturbed is disturbing Yeah, because you? like rightly said, the pregnant women are dying, they are, you know, dying out of this type of road and whatnot. So I'm disturbed. It affects my work. And when it happens like that, as, as, as an assembly, we spend a lot. So you insist that he's on site? The, uh, once the equipments are there, the kind of in, the, in any case, the, in any case there should be preparation. Okay. In any case, there should be preparation towards doing something. Okay. You understand? And I'm, I'm taking that maybe the contractor is preparing himself to come back to site you, and start you, work. You have an engineer in your department. What has the engineer told you as municipal coordinating director? The project was awarded at the national level. So, so, you so, have, so it, comes with, it comes with engineer and consultant as I, well. I agree. I'm saying that an engineer and a consultant and a contractor are working in your vicinity. Your engineer is not interested in how the work is being done because when they are done and they have packed their bags and they have gone, it will affect you. No, for now, we cannot agree that our engineer is not uh, 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 or helping or something. No, no, but you said that it doesn't concern you. just said that it doesn't concern no, you. No, the way you put the question. Okay, let me... That's, let that's me. what I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that the structure let is said that when the project is awarded at the national level, okay. it goes with or it comes with the consultants from the national level right. comes with the uh, supervisory and every uh, this thing. Right. Yes. So it is when the work is ongoing, that is where our assembly engineer can also, in a way, supervise or monitor and then report the same. Have you seen the new contract that is being given to the contractor? No, please. You have not seen it? No. Wow. Is that, is that the right thing? Is that, is that normal? That, that's not normal. But why, why haven't you seen it then, if it's not normal? Are you not worried? It's not normal, but I think maybe once he comes to site, who, who knows, he will come to the assembly. But and it show tells it to us. on the integrity of your office. Are you aware? These answers yes, you're giving yes, me yes. that the man is on site, but there's no work. You have not seen the contract. You don't know if he has mobilized funds and all of that. That's, that's you see, that tells you that the decentralization, in a way, is not effective. But you are the boss of decentralization here. Yes. You are the civil servant, correct? And so it, sometimes it happens that if the project is awarded, at the national level, if they come, by the side say Jack, they have started the work until the assembly will be in a concern to go and ask where the contract was awarded from. And before you be told it's, it's, it's been awarded at this ministry, it's been awarded at this level and at this world, okay. before we will come in to ask of uh, any other documentations and what help they may need from us. Maxwell, uh, Kwabina Jima, the voice you just heard, is the MCD for LECMA and he's glad and very wonderful for Gupi. Yeah, please. So we want to find out the name of the contractor. You want yes. to know the name of the contractor? The name of the contractor, please. If you True want the shop. personal name of the contractor, then I would like to say, I don't know. For what that. is the name of the, the organization running the contract? Do you know? You don't know as well. The name of the contractor. What I know is there's equipment is at a site of which 
we as an assembly have given you a piece of land. So, so the, keep... the people who brought the equipment, what do they call them? What are their names? What's the company name? The people who brought the equipment, what's their company name? No, I was part of the release of the land, but the company that brought the thing, they didn't come as a company, but they came to, you know, lobby for the land and we gave it to them. Every piece of land must have a name to it, correct? Correct. How come this piece of land that's been given for to keep the equipment doesn't have a name to it? What is the name of the person who led to lobby for that piece of land? Do you know? Physical planning officer in the person of Madame Gladys mm. Uko. So she gave up the land? Yes, she's part of the... She's our land. She oh, was right, on our land. Yeah. Right. So we've been joined there by some staff of the Lekma Hospital. Emilia Mensa Mrs. is a principal health officer and uh, reproductive and child health. Tell me the key challenges that you have in your department. And this is not political. You are talking as a professional. Uh, which are impeding the progress of your work. The effect of the road on the nature of our work. We are not institutionalized. We go and provide services in the community. And those people are also of the reproductive age. Right. So when you brought the issue of pregnancy and things, my staff somehow in the reproductive age. Right. Women of that matter. Mm -hmm. And then we go to the community to provide services. Poor road network. Sometimes it's difficult. Um, at the hospital, we only have some small mini bars, 15-seater mm. bars. Okay. And then sometimes students come. We sometimes hire cars. Some mm. of the cars can not even reach our outreach points. Okay. And we are here to reach the unreach, making sure that all even children are immunized. Right. And the effect of the road, sometimes mm. we can't get to them. And then as we are selling services in the provision of services, even it's difficult for some of the clients to come to us. Wow. And we can't reach them because look at the road. The, the road is bad. They are not getting cars to get to where we are supposed to be. And it's a very worrying. And as we are sitting here, you see the audience, some are in wheelchair. So these people too have families. Mm. And you can imagine if they themselves cannot even reach us. Mm. How do we provide the services and what, get all children immunized? What, what talk? Mm. They should just level the road mm. and tard it. Because if you level and there's dust, is, we are inhaling it to even compound the other existing problems right. that we are encountering. Mm. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of issues coming. Right. If we mention our top 10 respiratory, all mm. that mm. related to the lungs, mm. it's increasing. And these do, are primary things that we should do to prevent them. Do you have enough staff to help you uh, with your coverage, as you put it? Oh, not enough. So there are even a few ones you can't even maintain. Because already, if the road, the effect of the road on their health, right. you end up having some dropping out right. because of some bad condition. Right. The road is affecting their work. Uh, you want to respond to some of the concerns that she's raised? It's not even affecting the staff alone. Mm. It's affecting the entire community. Right. You understand? Because the dusty nature of it is not pleasant. Mm. The way forward is that the, we have contractors at site who are doing potholes patching. Okay. You understand? So there's improvement in a way. Uh, just recently, just recently, if you actually read on most of the news portals that we have, the MP even made a statement right. that he cannot actually call his people to order if nothing is, done, is not done with regards to this particular road. So definitely you can see the sort of effort that the MP is also putting into this to ensure that within the one year period, the contractor is able to finish but, the but project. In terms of the road network, uh, our municipality lagged behind. And so if you want to catch up with the other leading districts, you need to do things differently. So the first thing we did was to acquire a grader. Then the next one is to build what we call material laboratory. Okay. And I must say that Lekba is the only assembly in Ghana mm. that built its own material laboratory. Okay. What the material laboratory does is that every road construction, every single material must be tested. Right. Mm. So anytime we go submitting our request for any road network, we go not only just writing, we go with drawing and sometimes propose budget so that if other districts also make a request, you stand ahead of them. If all these things are there, why is it difficult to get this? I'm surprised off? it has been uh, the normal politics. A new government comes in and all contractors are put on hold for a while. Mm. I recall the contractor who was working on the link road. Right. said that you have about 15 certificates outstanding okay. that have not been paid. Mm. 
but I'm being told now that the certificates have been paid. Right. Uh, unfortunately, nobody know what went on, but new contractor has been given new contract. Right. And since October, uh, as a concerned citizen, my house is not far from here. Mm. And I was one of the people who were engineered the Lekman Hospital. Right. I attend the Lekman Hospital. And we know that that's, it is very difficult. Uh, with the public toilet issues, it looks like now the assembly has come out with something called Gamma, Greater Accra Metropolitan Assembly mm. area, yeah. For which appearing that all household should get a toilet at affordable price. You said that in 2013. And the plan is still by, going on. By that January 1st, 2014, whoever doesn't have a toilet in their house will be prosecuted, correct? Yes. Then you brought toilet at half price, correct? Yes, yes please. It has been three years after that. Yes. What have you done? Yes, it looks like now the, the promotion is still going on. No, but I'm, not, I'm looking for results. I'm not looking for efforts. Last year alone, how many people or households did you approve to get toilets by the 50 percent now i'm even told the 75 in some cases yeah. how many households did you approve from in this place yes from there okay. that is that is lekma okay that is lekma that is lekma for yes, the so whole for, yeah. constituency yeah closely to okay. thousand, yeah. so thousand closely thank yeah. you um, as you said we had we had a very wide deficit of household toilets in the municipality so owing to the Gamma project, we did a lot of sensitization and education. We do not trigger the enforcement bit until we've done a lot of the groundwork. So we did a program with a journalist from your outfit, Gifty, okay. on open education, right. where we clamped down on open education offenders. It was very successful. So once we do the enforcement... That was only four people. You arrested no, only four No, we arrested people. 18 people that very day. Okay. It's on record. So we trigger the enforcement intermittently. Then we continue the education. That will put some scare in them. Last year alone, we built a total of 1,300 household toilets okay. owing to the Gamma project right. because they reduced the price to 70% right. subsidy. All right, so we are on course. Just that the deficit is still high, but we are pushing it much higher so we can reach our target.